Hey, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a brand new solar panel that's part of a Kickstarter campaign from a company called InnoPower. Now this is a 200 watt portable solar panel, foldable obviously, and it's got a very unique capability that I've not seen before. But we're gonna find out, is it just a gimmick or something you might be able to use? So the folks at InnoPower reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in checking this out. And as you may have heard on previous videos, if you've seen any of my other stuff, I'm really at this point looking for standout features, features that are very different in products that I have reviewed in the past. And what jumped out at me right away is this thing actually can be used as a camp table. You, you heard me right, a camp table. So in addition to a solar panel, when you're not using it as a solar panel, it kind of got, it's got this origami sort of fold capability where you can actually turn this thing into a camp table. Now, how useful is that? How stable is that? I don't know. Is the 200 watt output rating on this reasonable? Let's go find out. All right, so this 200 watt panel has some interesting little features on it. So first of all, it's got a little compass on the top of it, which you can see works. So I think the idea there is it's designed to kind of point you towards the south so you can set up the panel before the sun comes out and know that you're setting up it in the right orientation. Obviously, you don't really need a compass if the sun is already out because you know where to point it. But um, it's got an additional little feature here. It's uh, this guy right here. So there's a little black dot on top of the circles. So when you point this toward the sun as you're setting the panel up, it will create a little shadow. And if that shadow falls within that little sun uh, graphic underneath there, then you know you've got it more or less appropriately aligned perpendicular to the sun. So that's kind of cool that they've uh, put that little piece there. And then once you've got it aligned, you just then unfold the panel. So that uh, kind of just helps you set the, uh, the angle. Now this panel just really uses one leg, even though it's a three panel, 200 watt design. So it uses this one leg in the center, and then you kind of cinch that into place using these uh, nylon straps on either side. So there's a little slip buckle down here. And there's even little indicators on the strap that kind of show you what your angle degree is there if you want to make it consistent on both sides. But, you know, using this little indicator right here is actually very cool and uh, kind of gets the job done. So it's kind of a slick little innovation right there. The other trick that this panel can do is it can act as a table around camp. So if you happen to be boondocking or you're at a campsite somewhere and you want a table to put stuff on and you don't need to use it as a solar panel because you can't use it as a table and a solar panel at the same time, obviously. Uh, but it is able to use the one very wide leg panel that it has to flip over on top of a triangular configuration that the three solar panels make. And that gives you a camp table. So let's see how that works while we're waiting on the sun to come out. All right, so the one leg on this thing is actually right here on this side. So there's no solar panel on this particular panel right here. The solar panels... By the way, I really like the heavy-duty nylon and the heavy-duty fabric on here, so I feel like this is pretty durable. So here's our three panels. Now you form these into a triangle and use the Velcro here to cinch that down. And then you have to take these straps and open them all the way up. And do that on both sides. There, once you've got the straps pulled out, that folds down. And I suppose you could sense the straps up again, and just to give it a little bit of uh, rigidity if it was windy outside, keep this thing from flipping up. Yeah, so that's, that's actually remarkably stable. So this weighs about 15 or 16 pounds, put a power supply on there. Yeah, very stable. This thing can handle a pretty fair amount of weight. Well, I bet I can put a lot heavier one on there than that. Now, I'm not sure what the weight capacity of this is, but, and obviously you do want to keep the weight centered if you have something heavy over where the pinnacle of this little triangle is. Because out here on the edge, this is gonna be a little bit more flexible. But, 
This is a about a 36 pound uh, power station. And no problem. In fact, I suppose I could put both of these up here. So that's about 50 pounds combined. Now obviously, we do have a little bit of flexibility here where the panel is unsupported. But as long as we're over top of that section where it's got support underneath, it's still fine. So that's pretty impressive. And as luck would have it, the sun is out. So let's go ahead and set this thing up as a solar panel, find out how much power we get. Now we can very quickly deploy this as a solar panel. All right, the sun just went back behind the clouds. But as you can see, we have just basically a single wide leg, so you don't have to fiddle with multiple legs. That's pretty cool. And then if you want to cinch this down, that would give you just a little bit more stability and keep this from slipping, although I think it's optional. I mean, in most cases, this is gonna set just fine without needing to be uh, strapped down. But if you're in a windy environment, that might actually help. All right, so we've got MC4 connectors on this. And I'll have to confirm. I know it came with at least one other adapter cable. So this um, native MC4 cable is about Let's call it six feet long or two meters. So in order to plug this into your power station, you obviously need to take a, a cable that goes to whatever your power station uses, since you won't be able to plug MC4 directly into the power station. But there's the sun behind the clouds. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and set up a second 200 watt panel so that we can do a quick comparison and find out if we're getting comparable output from both. So we're right on the edge of a cloud, but we're pretty much in the clear. So I've Gone ahead and redeployed both 200 watt panels. So the inno power is up here in front, and I'm leaning it a little further back, which is super easy because you have just the one leg. But you do see you get a little bit of kind of sway back on the side panels, as I mentioned before. You know, and then this is in comparison to the all powers. I've got the cable from the inno power coming back here. So I've got my Anderson adapter on that, along with the adapter coming off of the all power. So Let's just kind of see what we get. All right, we have the all powers hooked up right now and we are getting 127, 120 to 127 watts of input. So now we need to switch over to the inno power. Take the flash 300 here, just uh, about 30 seconds to find the maximum power point. There we are. Yeah, so now we're getting 137 watts here from the Inno Power 200 watt panel, 141 watts. So we're getting upper 30s. So that's 140. That's very good. Yeah, so 130 to 140. Let's plug in the all powers again just to see. I don't think the conditions have changed because we're in a clear spot in the mid 120s. And I, and I did make sure to drain this Flash 300 down to about 80% to make sure that we weren't throttling the input because we were getting close to maximum charge. Yeah, anyway, I think we got a pretty representative clear sun example here. Now, because of uh, the latitude that I'm at in Southern Ohio and the fact that it is later in the afternoon now, I'm, I'm not gonna get anywhere near rated output out of these panels. In fact, I rarely do uh, in, in this particular area of the country, but um, just you know, giving you a good apples to apples comparison here. A 200 watt portable versus another 200 watt portable. Um, pretty comparable output, just slightly better performance from the Inno Power. Now I will say, uh, when it does sit out in the sun here, I really like how easy it is to position this thing and, and make changes to this position with just that big wide single leg that it's got. But as you can see, the side panels do uh, hang out a little bit, and the, and the warmer it gets, the slightly more flexible they become but it um, doesn't seem to be affecting the output, really, so it's still performing quite well. Let's talk about some of the other relevant information on this product. So it looks like a pretty solid product so far, I would say. Uh, it does come with some adapter cables. Now, it comes with an Anderson style uh, to connect to the native MC4s that are in the bag, and it also comes with uh, MC4 to XT60. So if you have a power station with an XT60 connector, it's got you covered for that as well. And it does actually come with a third adapter cable that takes you from the MC4 
to, I believe, a DC 5521 or five and a half millimeter, and then the DC 7909 adapter tip, commonly known as the eight millimeter, and then a three and a half millimeter. And I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but I'm sure there are some devices out there that, that use three and a half millimeter. So it does have you covered for basically those five or six adapter types. It does have a 12 month warranty and be aware they do offer this in a 100 watt version as well. So they have a 100 and a 200 watt version. This just happens to be the 200 watt version. And for now anyway, it is only available by backing their Kickstarter campaign. And I'll put information on that below in the description as far as a link to the Kickstarter campaign where you can back that and get you know an early bird order on this if, if it's something you are you're interested in. You can check out their website at innopower.com for more information on both the Kickstarter and just the panels in general. Now just to quickly cover some final thoughts about this, I really do like that that wide single leg makes it really easy to reposition and deploy the panel. As I'm sure you're aware, in order to maximize the output from any panel, you, you really do need to reposition it periodically to maintain that optimal alignment with the sun. And having that single leg design makes that really easy to do. The panel is clearly made from very quality materials. Uh, that ETFE coating is nice and rugged and durable. And I find that this panel seems to produce power pretty efficiently. And this 200 watt version seems to output at least as good or maybe even a little bit better than the other 200 watt panels that I have. Now, one thing that InnoPower has teased and I'd like to know more about is that they are apparently coming out with a, uh, a USB adapter module or junction box as they, I think they refer to it. And it basically connects to the MC4 connectors on this, which are that cable, as you saw, is quite long, it's a couple meters long. And it would allow you to basically charge your USB devices directly, but not have to keep them out by the solar panel. You, you could move them closer, say into a tent or into a camper or you know in the shade and that kind of thing. So I think that's kind of a cool option. I think if I were going to have you know buy this panel, that would be a must-have option for me. But I don't know how much that's going to cost and exactly when it's going to be available. So if that's something you might be interested in, you're probably just going to need to check their website periodically and keep tabs on that. Now the last thing I would say is that the ability to convert this into a camp table is actually pretty useful. And one thing that I really appreciate in products, especially products that you want to take out when you're traveling. Um, in a camper or tent camping or whatever, car camping, having products that can perform multiple functions is super handy because it means you have to bring less things with you. So 12 volt refrigerators that have a, a bottle opener integrated into them, for example, really handy. It's one less thing that you got to remember to bring. And I have to say that when I've gone car camping a lot, I, I really do like having a camp table, especially at night when you're making dinner and at night you're not using a solar panel for solar. Uh, so convert it to a camp table. You can put your camp stove on there. Uh, that little panel that acts as the, you know, the main table surface can certainly handle that underneath and keeps everything up off the ground, allows you to prepare food and stuff like that. So I, I really think that it is not just a gimmick. It's actually kind of cool. So I hope you found some of this information useful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video. Really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, about all I got for you. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have fun out there.